What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, considering that crypto mining profitability is on the uptick once again as we go into this next bull run, I thought I would take the time to caution some of the new people out there. I remember my early days in trying to find a way to utilize my crypto mining profits to purchase coins that weren't necessarily mineable and Unminable has been providing that service for a considerable amount of time. Now, I have tested it multiple times, and I've always come to the same conclusion, but it's not something that I've talked about on the channel. Now, one thing you may find a little bit different about my channel is I don't do sponsorships, and that is so that I can give you the unfiltered truth. And in this particular case, Unminable's fees are absolutely atrocious, and they are not being truthful and honest with you. And I want to go over this in detail so that you can have a better strategy in your crypto mining journey. Now, one strategy that's always served me well is to be very data driven. I like to run the numbers and somebody else who likes to run the numbers is Seb Heslo. He's one of my favorite crypto mining YouTubers and he has also done some content on Unminable and their fees. One of his most recent tests uh, has been a considerable amount of time ago. In fact, it was about a year ago. He put out a video where he did a 30-day profitability test with NiceHash, Unminable, Two Miners, BTC, and ETC Zill dual mining profitability. And he kept running into this same issue over and over where Unminable was just not up to par compared to the rest. Now, he did a follow-up video to that after getting a response from Unminable, and they had lots of reasons for why it was performing so badly. However, in all of my tests, I am noticing a severe discrepancy from what I should be receiving as opposed to what they state on their website. Now, Seb is not the only person who's made content on this. There is also a video from Modern Mining where he compared Trade Ogre and Unminable swapping, and he showed a discrepancy of almost 15%. Now, in all my tests, and I have mined many different coins on Unminable, but I typically see anywhere from a 16 to a 25% loss in profitability when it comes to using Unminable to acquire a different coin. However, I never really took the time to document that. So in preparation for a potential downside to crypto over this last week or so, I thought I would utilize Unminable to collect a little bit of USD and perhaps purchase some coins on the dip. And without fail, they managed to disappoint me once again. So at this point, I want to jump to something that I recorded a few days ago uh, to give you some documentation on how my experience went with that process. So I posted this in my Discord channel yesterday at 10.51 p.m. The time of recording right now is March 17th, 10.03 p.m. And you can see I had just started mining USDT on Unminable at approximately 10.15 or so. I want to go ahead and pull up my HiveOS account so you can see exactly how much GigaHash we have currently. We're currently mining Tyrant, and we have about 160 GigaHash going towards Tether on Unminable. And then I also have my 4090, which is in my desktop right now, and I'm currently getting about 15.66 GigaHash on the pool. You can see we're currently sitting at 23 hours and 50 minutes coming up on 24 hours. Now, if I were to pull up hashrate.no and put 175 gigahash in here, and we're not worried about our power rate because we're just simply looking at revenue only, I've refreshed this over the course of the last 24 hours, and it's ranged anywhere from $21 all the way up to $27, depending on the time. Now, if we pull up the chart for Pyron, you can see over the course of the last 24 hours, we're currently up 14.52%. So that goes in line with my findings as far as it ranging from $21 to $27. We'll go ahead and refresh hashrate.no one more time to see what current profitability looks like on Pyron at 175 gigahash. And as you can see, we're still sitting at about $25.83. So let's go ahead and pull up Unminable and see how we're doing. So you can see here that I started at 22.06, which would have been 10.06 p.m. Central Standard Time for me. And it took me the better part of about 20 or 30 minutes to get all of the rigs with that flight sheet set up. And you can see I had full hash rate going by 23.15. 
So we're going to go ahead and let this run all the way to 2315 just to give Unminable the benefit of the doubt. But as you can see here, we are not anywhere close to $25 in revenue on Tether. I searched high and low on Unminable's website to try and figure out exactly what their fee is and although they don't specifically state it anywhere other than the referrals page you can clearly see that it says the platform's fee is 1% without any type of referral code. If you do have a referral code they take off 0.25% leaving you with a total of 99.25% in rewards. You can tell by my desktop time here that it is currently 10.07 p.m. and this is roughly 24 hours exactly. But again, I'm gonna give Unminable the benefit of the doubt. I know that not all workers were up to speed at that time. So we're gonna give it an additional hour and we're gonna shut it all down. And then we're going to refresh this continuously over the course of the next few hours to give them time to get through 100% of the payouts and see where we stand. All right, so here we are at the 24-hour results. You can see I'm at 18.21 cents approximately. Mining ended at almost exactly at 23.16. You saw previously that it began at roughly 21.06, but ramped up uh, for about 45 minutes until we got to full hash rate. I've still got one rig showing that it's got a little bit of hash rate on there, even though it has been off for about 16 minutes now on a different pool. All right, so if we take those results and we throw them into a spreadsheet, you can see that I was paid a total of $18.21, and according to hashrate.no, we ranged anywhere from $21 to $27, depending on the time that we checked. So we took an average, which would be $24, and we're looking at a discrepancy of over 24%. Now, granted, there are going to be some fees for swapping that Unminable is having to pay. And when you take into account that we're swapping for Tether, which is an ERC-20 token, perhaps those fees are pretty steep. But again, going back to all of my previous tests that I've done, it does not matter what coin that you mine you're going to get similar results and I challenge you to test this for yourself in case you don't believe me but regardless we've got the minor dev fee which on Rigel Miner is 1% for Pyron and then of course you've got the 1% on mineable fee that they claim to have but if you take those two percentages away you're still looking at a loss of 22.13% which definitely makes this not worth using in my opinion but you know if you need to test it for yourself, go ahead. I don't recommend testing it for more than 24 hours because you're going to find out pretty quickly that it is way more profitable to mine the coin that is most profitable and then simply swap it to the coin that you would rather have. Now, I don't know if Unminable is going to go through the trouble of trying to contact me like they did Seb. I kind of doubt it, but regardless, you're welcome to contact me and we can run this test over and over and over again. But again, you're just going to keep coming to the same results. I wish Unminable would just be fair, honest, and upfront with what the fee actually is. And that way I wouldn't have to make a video like this because I do appreciate the fact that they offer this service. I wish there were more out there. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Reminder, please hit that like button before you go if you appreciate content like this. And I will see you on the next one.